when I'm driving, I sometimes I don't see these cameras. Long Win is like a lot of Valley drivers, busted by photo radar for driving too fast. I remember a, a light flashes, and a few weeks later, I got a letter in the mail saying that I have to pay. The real estate agent got his photo radar ticket in the city of El Mirage more than a year ago. He paid the fine and moved on. Then something unexpected happened. You are being reimbursed the amount of the citation. A few days ago, Wynn got this letter in the mail and a check for $234, a full refund for his photo radar ticket. My first reaction when I got the check, it was very exciting. I thought it was a gift from a Santa Claus because it's like when you play, misplace your money somewhere and then you found it, that's the excitement I felt. The city of El Mirage is now issuing close to $100,000 in refunds to photo radar offenders because of an illegal speed trap that was set up in front of Thompson Ranch Elementary School north of Grand Avenue. City officials tell us from late 2016 to early 2017, photo citations were issued on this stretch of road where the speed limit dropped from 40 miles an hour to 25. State law prohibits a speed limit drop of more than 10 miles per hour from one stretch of road to another. A former El Mirage police chief brought the issue to the attention of the city council and the attorney general's office recommended that the city start sending out refunds. I think they should get their money back. Speed traps are always a bad deal, I think. I think if it was illegal, then it's good to get their money back. Especially this time of year? Definitely. So far, the city has sent refunds on 378 citations. Wynn said he's not angry, just happy to have some extra spending money around the holidays. I'm not mad at, at, at the city. I'm not mad at, uh, at anybody. I just think it's a, it's a blessing that, you know, it got refunded. Now, just a short time ago, we received this statement from the city of El Mirage. It said, as soon as the current city administration was made aware of this issue, we acted to address it immediately. The speed limit was changed to conform to state law in March of 2017. So basically the speed limit down the road was changed to 35 miles an hour, so the drop to 25 conformed to state law, a law allowing El Mirage to continue issuing those photo radar citations. If you feel like you are due a citation, you should reach out to the city of El Mirage. Reporting live in the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family. A lot of people